Hi, Valery Lyshenko, no? Yeah, yeah, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Yasin, and it's about the Envirolite devices. How do you spell it exactly? Envirolite or Envirolite? Yeah, well, we say Envirolite. Envi yeah. The company was incorporated in Estonia. Estonia. Okay. Yes, and okay. we started actually trading uh, from 2005. So for the last well, about seven years, we've been actively trading on the market. Okay. But we had been involved in the technology prior to 2005. And 2005, when? it's when we came on the market ah, so with, okay. with the product. How long do, does, does the enterprise now work? With that technology 10 years before they started? Or yeah, you may say so, but yes. And how many devices altogether would you estimate, they say, did you already sold around the As world? As per 5, today, 000? I think it's about 5,000, yes. 5,000? Yes, yes. And what are the most important devices? I mean, there are like around 30, 40 di different devices. Yeah, it's about now, it's about more than 50 models, different models. Uh -huh. And uh, well, if. Five years ago, there were more manual units. Today, we sell more and more uh, automated systems. Mm -hmm. And which one of them? The 900 or 1200? It's the a LA 900, LA 1200, yeah, these models, yeah. And for the future, do you think the ELA devices, the uh, ha, uh, less salt devices, are they most more important? Or will the normal devices be also still important? No, it depends on the market. As far as, uh, let's say, since we are present at this livestock market, uh, livestock, livestock exhibition, then we think that standard ELA machines are quite, uh, quite good for this market. But whenever it comes to soil consumption, whenever whenever it is critical, then we have a solution for that. Mm -hmm. As far as yeah. free available chlorine is concerned, it's the same amount. Okay. It's only soil consumption ah. and salt residual yes. in uh, in the treated object. It's either surface or water. So uh, in many applications, it really matters. Uh, devices for treating Legionella in buildings. Oh yeah, we have quite a number of projects accomplished all over the world. We have some project accomplished in Singapore, in uh, Malaysia, uh, in uh, New Zealand, if my memory serves me right, in Italy, in uh, Spain, okay. and the installations are done in uh, hospitals, hotels, public buildings, housing complexes, uh, uh, that kind of uh, that kind of installations. With Legionella killing and Legionella elimination, in such projects we have been involved for the last well, I may say from the incorporation of the company, but we have absolutely confirmed data that with very little dosing, we have completely genial elimination. Do you then first dose a little bit more and then less, like one percent? Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. We start no, uh, I can't be uh, specific about the exact percentage because it depends on the condition of the system and the source water mm -hmm. and uh, legionella contamination, yes. right? But we start with the yeah, higher level and then after two, three weeks when the system is already cleaned from biofilms, from, from other sources of algae and other sources of legionella, uh -huh. then we reduce dosing and we keep it pretty low. Okay. Pretty low, and we have statistics. Pretty low, like one percent or less. Uh, it's not about dosing; it's about residual. We control residual, but I will I will tell you residual. We we maintain residual uh, something like 400 millivolts. It means that the initial dosing initial dosing is pretty low. It's it's significantly less than even zero one percent. I think it's zero. 0.05 percent, something like something like this. Yes, it's pretty low dosing. If you if you imagine 400 p, uh, sorry millivolts at the time of at the point of control. Yeah, one question I have still: uh, the viruses, virus oh, is yeah? mostly a problem. Yeah. Yeah. We do also kill them. Right, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And we have data proving that we kill uh, Vibrio cholera, mm -hmm. we kill. Uh, hepatitis uh, mm -hmm. viruses and many other viruses mm -hmm. and we have the data and we have the lab data confirmed from from the reputed laboratories it, it depends because uh, with the uh, with Legionella you're competing with traditional technologies and if you feel strong 
and ready to compete. Yeah, Legionella is a good, uh, good. Legionella prevention uh, is a good market. But uh, with livestock, the return is faster, and the results customers can see. Uh, they can see well in a few days the improvement. Mm -hmm. That's why it's easier to convince your customer about the new technology. But, uh, well, I can say that uh, whatever market you can see there, uh, for every market you can offer some competitive advantage, mm -hmm. some extra benefits, mm -hmm. either either for, for the market or for your, for your clients or with your solution because it's, it's efficient in the first place, it is cost effective and it's uh, ecological. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, there, so as I said, uh, it depends in which market you are better established. Mm -hmm. And then you can consider this market. Uh -huh. But you can be sure that often in the technology, you are coming with the competitive advantages. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you again. Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the interview.